BD Research Club members, this week's topic is quite dizzying. Have you ever thought about what might be the most difficult places in the world to reach? Antarctica, Greenland, Everest. These are the first things that come to mind. The summits of the world's highest mountains are the most difficult and dangerous places on Earth to reach. Climbing to these heights shows that there is no place in the world that has not been explored and that man can accomplish even the most difficult things. Now we are going on a journey to the highest places in the world. If you are ready with your coffee and in front of your screens, here we go. At 8,091 meters above sea level, Mount Annapurna 1 is the 10th highest mountain in the world. The Annapurna peaks are among the most dangerous peaks in the world to climb. Especially the stone wall on Annapurna, one makes this mountain one of the most difficult mountains in the world to climb. Many people have lost their lives trying to climb this peak, so the death rate on this mountain is quite high. The first successful ascent of Annapurna 1 was made by Frenchmen, Maurice Herzog and Louis Lachenal on June 3, 1950. This was the first ascent of a mountain of 8,000 meters or more. In 2014, the worst disaster occurred on this mountain. Climbers were trapped by a snowstorm and an avalanche, and 43 climbers lost their lives. Many of those who survived the disaster had their limbs amputated. Located in the Kashmir region of Pakistan, Nanga Parbat is an extension of the Karakoram Mountains and is 8,126 meters above sea level. Derived from Sanskrit words, Nanga Parbat means naked mountain. It is also known as the Killing Mountain because it is one of the most dangerous mountains in the world to climb. Many people lost their lives trying to climb the mountain before the first successful ascent. The first person to reach the summit was Austrian Hermann Buhl on July 3, 1953. Buhl was also the only mountaineer to climb such a high peak alone. Even movies have been made about Buhl's climbing adventure. Mount Manaslu is 8,163 meters above sea level. The name of the mountain comes from the Sanskrit word Manasa, which means Mountain of Souls. It was first climbed by Japanese mountaineers Toshio Imanishi and Gyalzen Norbu on May 9, 1956. Unfortunately, in 1972, Manaslu was the scene of a sad disaster. Shortly after the climbers left their campsite at 6,500 meters on their way to the summit, an avalanche hit them and 15 climbers lost their lives on this mountain. There is very little difference between the altitude of Mount Manaslu and Mount Daulagiri. At 8,167 meters, Daulagiri is the seventh highest mountain in the Himalayas. It is also the highest mountain entirely within the borders of Nepal. Mount Daulagiri can be challenging and dangerous in terms of avalanches and glaciers, but the rate of successful ascents to the summit of this mountain is higher than the rate of death. On May 13, 1960, a team of Swiss and Austrians made the first ascent of the mountain. The Himalayas are so majestic and vast that they are home to many of the world's highest mountains. Mount Chouoyu is a peak in the Himalayas and is 8,188 meters above sea level. Located 20 kilometers west of Everest, it is the sixth highest mountain in the world. Chouoyu which means turquoise goddess in Tibetan, challenges many climbers with its 6,000-meter glaciers, but compared to the other mountains on our list, Chouoyu is easier to climb. Australian Herbert Tichy, Joseph Jokler, and Sherpa Pasang Dawa Lama were the first to reach the summit on October 19, 1954. Another highest peak in the Himalayas is Mount Makalu, with a height of 8,485 meters above sea level, it ranks fifth among the highest mountains in the world. The mountain, 
which forms the border between Nepal and the People's Republic of China, has a very challenging climbing route. Many teams have tried to climb this mountain many times, but unfortunately without success. The first people to climb Mount Makalu were Frenchmen Lionel Touré and Jean Cousy, who reached the summit on May 15, 1955. The route of this ascent was different from the routes of previous attempts to climb Mount Makalu. They tried a route from the northwest side of the mountain and were successful, so this route was often preferred by climbers who came after them. Mount Lhotse, located in the Himalayas, is the fourth highest mountain in the world at 8,516 meters above sea level. This mountain, which forms the border between Tibet and Khumbu, offers an easy climb compared to Everest, but it is quite steep. Especially the southern part of the mountain is steeper than the other routes and it is quite dangerous to climb. You have to be especially careful of ice flows that may fall during the climb. For this reason, those who try to climb from the southern part usually have a very difficult time reaching the summit. The Swiss Fritz Luxinger and Ernst Reiss reached the summit of this mountain for the first time on May 18, 1956. If you want to climb this mountain, it would be useful to remind you that at certain altitudes of the mountain, you can find hostels, battery charging stations, rest stops, where you can satisfy your food and drink needs and suitable areas for camping. Speaking of breaks, it is also useful to take a breather. You can support our YouTube climb by taking a few seconds and liking the video. Have a good time. Mount Kanchenjunga, which rises 8,586 meters between India and Nepal, is the third highest mountain in the world. Three of the points where you can climb to the top of this mountain are in Nepal, and one is in India. Kanchenjunga is as dangerous and challenging as the other mountains we have mentioned, because it is very steep and the wind speed on the mountain changes very erratically. As a result, avalanche formation increases and climbing becomes much more difficult. For 50 years before the first ascent of this mountain, climbers had been trying to reach the summit, but Joe Brown and George Band became the first duo to see the summit on May 25, 1955. The grueling climb also claimed the lives of many climbers. It is considered such a dangerous mountain that only three successful ascents had been made from the climbing point on the Indian border. At 8,611 meters, Mount K2 is the second highest mountain in the world, and although it ranks second in altitude, it ranks first in difficulty. In fact, due to its difficulty, it is known as the Holy Peak, Mountain of Mountains, and Cruel Mountain among mountaineers. The main reason why K2 is so difficult to climb is that it is very steep. The steepness of the mountain not only makes climbing difficult, but also causes more rocks and avalanches. So much so that one in four people who try to climb this mountain lose their lives. Lino Lassadelli and Achille Compagnoni made this difficult climb for the first time on July 31, 1954. We all know the answer to the question of which is the highest mountain in the world. Mount Everest, the highest peak of the Himalayas, the largest mountain range in the world, is exactly 8,848 meters above sea level and is the highest mountain in the world. The mountain is thought to have been formed 2.5 million years ago when the Indian Peninsula and the Tibetan Plateau came closer together and the land mass rose. It is the dream of every mountaineer to reach the summit of Everest, which marks the border between China and Nepal. The first to realize this dream were Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay of Nepal. On May 29, 1953, they took the first step to the summit. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts and ideas about the video in the comments section. You can also turn on notifications to get more content and be part of our community. See you in the next video.